again to another video of amazing fishing. Today I am not going to be fishing today, instead I'm going to be doing something that I've never done before. And that is, I'm going to be seeing how far I can cast. Now, the reason I am doing this video is because I like to show people that I can cast far, but by, well, I guess one way of putting it is by having that long distance casting advantage that extra advantage is that one you can cover a lot of water and ground meaning in shallow waters um, you don't you can get to the deeper water even in shallow beaches two is that if the ops if, if the elements are against you like big swells and um, wind by having that um, momentum down you'll still be, be able to go through that cast and by knowing that you can cast far you don't have to go through a lot of effort just to make that um, decent cast as well so yeah let's see how it goes today so here I got myself a Shimano Carblood 14 foot rod three piece 8 to 15 kilos rated between 3 to 6 ounces with a Shimano speed cast spooled with 30 pound braid and I'm using black magic um, tough trace this is a 60 pound and here is a wasabi uh, snap shovel with a 5 ounce breakout sinker now I've already done a cast on this but let's see how far I can go Down. Yep. Yellow line here. Let's count how far that is. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <clears throat> ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14 15 16 Oh Jeez That was a 160 meter cost That's not a bad <laughs> Quite impressed with that Let's give that another shot One, two, looks roughly the same. Let's count that. Two, again, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15 16 Man Goes to show that by having the right um, The right type of reel The correct rating on how you feel on the rod As well as the right rod I mean this carbon is quite impressive And the speed cast too you can achieve a great distance 
and let's not forget line diameter is also quite important as well so with a bait I could probably get up to 110 meters of distance with bait which is more than enough anyway let's try third time lucky on this cast Now one good tip I like to mention when casting Make sure your sinker is around this length Minimum like if the sinker is reaching to the first guide So that you have enough momentum to work with Giving the sinker enough momentum to get that swing and power on the rod Also The reel When you're casting make sure That your finger is hanging at a 70 degree angle If you did it like this um, what happens is that the line can slip off during casting and your accuracy won't be as great and also don't do it like that either because they'll give you a terrible accuracy do it like that while it's hanging and the third tip get yourself a finger guard very helpful let's do that again and also watch your surroundings one two <laughs> Yellow again. Oh no. This is blue. Never mind. Um, two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh my god, I'm feeling tired. Fifteen. Mm. Good distance right there. This is my Shadow X Surf, 13 foot 6, 3 piece, 10 to 15 kilos, 2 to 5 ounce. Now, I've matched this with a Beastmaster. Now, this rod, I must confess, is what I would consider my light tackle surf casting outfit, where I can use it to catch. Um, well, if I'm fishing in an area that requires special attention or if I'm up for some light tackle fishing. And don't get me wrong, this rod is quite good. Now, that is my running rig clip right here and I'm going to be using a 5 ounce for this. So basically with this setup, I would be using like a 3 to four, 5 barrel hook. Nothing too big. It's a carbolate rod, I could use up to 4 to 7 barrel hooks. Like a KLT or a DX hook. Anyway, that's spoiled with 30 pound braid and I'm using Black Magic Shock Leader once again. 60 pound, as I don't want the, um, the sinker to snap this off so Let's give it a try. This is not the most superior of all casting rods, but it does the job still. One, two, three. All right, it's on yellow. Let's count this. One, two, three. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, hundred and twelve meters. 
Yeah, this is not my, this is not the great distance, but in saying that, 100 meters is enough. Oh, look at that German Shepherd. <laughs> Try that again. One, two. Same distance by the looks of it. Now I don't want to fish too far with a light tackle because the last thing I want if I hook onto a big fish is to take it way out and then cut me off on a structure that's really far because that'll be a huge waste of braid so by having it not too far like 170 meters around that range it's more comfortable there's one oh. two three four five six seven Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh wow, the impact when it lands. <laughs> oh. There must be a lot of barnacles or rocks out there because the sinker is getting smashed. Alright, one last cast. <laughs> Filming the cast? Ah, oh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Let's go to the blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Thirty meters. All right. Now my final setup for the day is this ultimate bad boy. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of nervous to use this, but I'm excited. It's my South African rod, the Assassin Evo. This is my best casting rod ever. So out of all my setups here, this is my most extreme setup and what I like about this Evo rod is that it's very powerful. So this rod I would use between um, medium fish to large fish. The largest fish I would catch would be a shark. Alright, let's see how far I can go. Wow, look at that. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Alright, I'm gonna count this braid. Orange. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, <clears throat> ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifty. Wow, 150 meters. That's my best calf to date, 150 meters. <laughs> no one near that. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <clears throat> nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, oh. oopsie, 14, oopsie, oops, that's 140 meters, I forgot to mention this is 50 pound braid I'm using, so this is obviously for um, more heavy duty stuff. So like, this can tackle sharks very easily. And also if I'm fishing in rougher terrain, then I'm also using 60 pound shock leader again. But I'm also be able to use um, 80 pound too, if I want to use like a 7 ounce sinker on this. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, what, fifteen. Damn it, oopsie. Hundred and fifty meter cast again. It's all good. Anyway, I hope everyone has enjoyed watching this video where I am doing some practicing surf casting on three of my rods. The other one's back in the car. But um I guess my basic conclusion by having that right set up, depending on the terrain, the fish you want to catch and uh, how you want to play it you can really get a, a great distance and i also feel confident in my casting so i guess i have nothing to worry about from here anyway i hope everyone has enjoyed watching this video and if you have please like and subscribe for more fishing videos again thank you for watching and see you guys next time